I Fly, the buzz about flies and how awesome they are, by Bridget Heos, illustrated by Jennifer Plekus. Hey kids, what are you studying? Um, butterflies? <sighs> it's always the butterflies. I get it. They have such beautiful wings. Such graceful flight. Such an amazing metamorphosis. Well, guess who else metamorphoses can fly? and is beautiful, at least according to my mother. Me and all my housefly relatives. Like butterflies, flies go through metamorphosis too. Here's how the story goes. My 500 brothers and sisters and I started out as eggs. Our mom tucked us into a warm, smelly bed of dog dew. When we hatched, we looked like short, greasy, white worms. In other words, much cuter than caterpillars. Scientists called us larvae. Humans called us maggots. Our parents called us adorable. Back in my maggot days, I ate a lot. But my siblings and I didn't eat flowers like those fancy schmancy caterpillars. We ate poop and trash, and we still do. Wait a second, is that a trash can? Yum, rotting fruit. You don't mind if I eat while we talk, do you? Anyway, as maggots, we grew bigger. We shed our skin three times. Then we became pupae. Inside the pupal case, things got interesting. We changed into flies. I remember it like it was yesterday. I busted out of my pupal case. I ate some dead meat on a bun and then started my family. Before I knew it, I was the father of 500 babies. My babies grew up in 10 days. Then my daughters laid about 500 eggs each. That blessed me with thousands of grand maggots or more. To be honest, I lost count. Sadly, my maggots and grand maggots don't have much use for their old man. They take care of themselves, just like I did as a maggot. So now I spend most of my time flying. I'm an amazing flyer. My wings flutter 200 times a second. The monarch butterfly flaps its wings only 5 to 12 times per second. I scoff at that number. Also, butterflies are annoyingly quiet. My wings make a cool noise. When I flap my wings fast, I make a high-pitched bzzz. When I flap my wings slow, the bzzz is low pitched. Maybe if your science teacher won't let you study me, your music teacher will. And to think I do all this with only two wings. Those lazy butterflies have four. Even you could fly with four wings, I bet. But try flying with two and try this without spinning. Out of control. That's thanks to my halters, little spinning things that look like lollipops and help me keep my balance. Guess who doesn't have any? If you said those clumsy butterflies, you're right. Now that I've given you a glimpse of my greatness, you can ask me some questions. I heard that flies throw up on everything before they eat it. Is that true? No, we don't throw up on everything, only solid foods. See, we don't have any teeth, so we can't chew. 
I had to throw up on this apple core to turn it into a liquid. That way I could sop it up with my spongy mouth. But if something's already a liquid, like the soup you're having for lunch, I don't throw up on it. I'll slurp that right out of the bowl. Next question. Is it true that flies spread diseases by landing on gross stuff, getting their feet dirty, and then landing on food? Okay, that is true. Guilty as charged. But I'm actually a really clean guy. Have you noticed that I scrub myself every time I land? It keeps the city tiny hairs on my body clean. These hairs help me sense things, like the swoosh of air when somebody tries to swap me. But the city can't do their job when they're cluttered with dirt and dust. Unfortunately, all that scrubbing sends bacteria flying. Sorry about that. Just keeping it clean, my friends. One last question. Hit me. True or false? Mosquitoes are flies, and mosquitoes are bad, so flies are bad too. False. This one gets me right in the gut. Mosquitoes are flies, but they're not house flies. They're our distant cousins. How would you feel if your distant cousins or relatives did something mean and everyone blamed you for it? Sad, right? Well, welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please don't mind my tears. It's just that my whole life, all 21 days of it, I've watched kids like you learn about butterflies. Meanwhile, I've been here all along, totally ignored. But you can change that. Ask your teacher if you can study flies, not butterflies. We're the better species. Let's study flies! Yeah! Got him! Put him in the habitat! Wait a second. Where am I? Ugh, it's so clean in here. Where's the rotting fruit? Where's the trash? I need trash! Listen, I made a mistake. I don't belong here in the classroom. I didn't mention it before, but I carry 1,941,000 kinds of bacteria. You think it doesn't matter that I throw up on your food? I cause 65 known human diseases. I'm filthy. I think you should study butterflies after all. As much as it pains me to say it, just let me out of here. Thank you. Well, I admit flies aren't great for school habitats. We really are awesome. How about a few more facts before I buzz out of here? We have winter homes. You don't see flies when it's cold outside. So where do new flies come from in the spring? If we lay our eggs in late fall, our larvae or pupae Spend the winter deep inside whatever muck they call home. The next spring, they become flies. We have big families. If all 500 of my maggots grew up to have 500 babies of their own, that would make 250,000 new flies. Next, those 250,000 new flies could each lay 500 eggs. In a perfect world, a fly like me could have 191 quintillion, 10 quadrillion children and grandchildren in the course of a summer. Unfortunately, we don't all survive. Some of us freeze on cold nights or wash away during storms. Others are eaten by wasps, birds, bats, spiders, or dragonflies. Swatter swat us. And sometimes... There isn't enough food. You can do your part to fight fly hunger by leaving your sandwiches, ice cream cones, and candy lying around. We're good people. I mean, insects. Not all my relatives cause problems like the mosquito does. Blow flies help police detectives solve crimes. The age of maggots on a dead body helps police determine when a crime occurred. 
and fruit flies lend a hand in science labs. Scientists like to study these fly cousins to learn why humans get sick. Perhaps one day you'll study flies after all. And keep in mind that we, the houseflies, also do our part. If it weren't for our hungry maggots, the earth would be a messy place. You're welcome. Hooray for flies. Flies rule. Bravo. Bravo.